Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Let's take a look at how we can use derivatives to help approximate functions because derivatives really give uh, information about the tangent line of a curve. And up close, we expect the tangent line to be very close to the curve or very, um, and so if we're not too far away, we can really just replace the function with the tangent line itself. And that's often what's done with approximations. So, um, so we're kind of basically just going to be looking at a point on the tangent line, and that's what derivatives can help us do, um, because they kind of tell us how to specifically get from a particular run to a particular rise. And the rule is you take the slope at a particular point, um, at a particular x value, and you multiply it by your run, and you end up getting the change of y on the tangent line. So that's kind of the idea we're going to be using. So if we, we can approximate f of x at a particular point using this idea, let's look at an example. Suppose that we had, um, suppose that f of x is equal to the square root of x. And suppose that, um, so this is like approximating a square root kind of is what we're going to be looking at. Um, suppose that you know what the square root of four is. Square root of four is two. Yeah, we know that. All right, well, let's try to approximate something nearby four, maybe like 3.9. What is the square root of 3.9? So we want to know f of 3.9 is approximately what? Well, let's start at four. So um, well, we know that it's, it's going to be approximately f of four, but then it's going to, but then we're going to change from four from by a run. Notice that to go from four to 3.9 is a run of negative 0.1. So here's four and 3.9. So our run is negative 0.1. So we're going to use this idea here. We're going to have a run of negative 0.1. We want to add our rise or our change of f that where how it's changed from four, from f of four to get to f of 3.9. But really not the reason why this is approximate because this is not, not really how the function is changing, but we're this is how the tangent line will be changing, but will and what it'll be. But we're going to use a so that's why we're going to use approximately. So the rise is going to be determined by dx times f the slope, but right at that point that we're concerned at, we're actually having the we're going tangent to, which is right at four. So our dx is negative point one, and then we have f prime of four right here. Okay. So that'll be our rise or the change, this is like the change of the function of the y value. This is the change of the y value from this y value where we started with, all right? When we start at four and what's happening. Um, so if it's going to be going down, we kind of think, okay, from here to here. And if we think about the tangent line, um, so we have a run of negative 0.1 and what's the change? And what, or what's the drop in the, uh, in the, um, on the tangent line itself. And we can compute that by taking the derivative of f of x, plugging in four and multiplying by negative 0.1. That's gonna give us this drop. Okay, so let's do it. Let's compute the derivative of f of x. Um, so we can think of this as being x to the one half then that becomes one half x to the negative one half as the derivative or one over two times uh, two times root x. Okay, so let's plug it. So that's what the derivative is. Now let's plug four into that. So plugging in four, we end up getting f prime of four is equal to one over two root four, which is equal to one over two times two, which is four. 
Okay, so f prime of four is four. So we're just gonna be, so in this particular case, let's kind of put in some values then. Okay, so we know this is one fourth, and we know this is negative 0.1, and we know that f of we know that f of four is just two. So we can think of this as being uh, 0.25 times negative 0.1, um, which would just be negative 0 0.025. So we get a pretty, so this should be a pretty accurate estimate of the uh, square root of 3.9, 2 minus 0 0.025, which would give us 1.975. Um, and, uh, and that would, and that right there is a pretty accurate estimate approximately of the square root of 3.9. And what we did is we used the tangent line to do the approximation. Thanks for watching.